The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. Today, I've got three ways for you to chop up your vocals. The example that I'm going to be using is a remix I put together with Vice of his recent song Obsession with John Bellion on the vocals. And we ended up using all three of the approaches here in Ableton to put together the finished product. And I'm going to start out by showing you that. and then it repeats around, you get the idea. So let's jump in to these vocal samples. Our goal for this drop was to not lose the flow of the acapella, because that's where a lot of vocal chop drops seem to sort of drop the ball, you feel me? So let's just mute what we did here with the higher pitch sub. So for the people singing along, we still got the uh, the flow of the acapella, and we didn't uh, just copy it straight up. We kind of uh, chopped it, I guess like chopped and screwed style, where you got some here and then maybe some pitched down an octave like this. Our remix is up one semitone from the original, so the octave is minus 11 in this case. Chances are... Complex Pro and the Formance Control are going to be your friend if this is how you hear your vocals being chopped up inside your head. If it kind of sounds like a repeat or an echo of what the acapella leading up to it was saying, then chances are you're going to want to take the old-fashioned way and just drop your audio right into some channels and actually just chop up that thing, pitch it up, pitch it down, get your hands dirty, get your acapella all jacked up, make yourself some cool vocal chops right there in audio. Are you a music producer looking for that perfect chord progression to start your next hit? Do you struggle with chords, piano, and music theory? Then we've got the product for you. Introducing Poppin' Progressions 2, the sequel to our organic MIDI sample pack filled with over 50 loops organized by key and scale for your convenience. Just grab a Poppin' Progression and drop it in your session. Poppin' Progressions 2 is available now only at holeloops.com. Now the next way is going to be a little bit more advanced, and this is going to be using a MIDI channel. We just simply dragged the entire song's acapella and then started digging right from the beginning to find a cool one-shot that sounded like something uh, interesting pitched up an octave or even more. And we didn't want it to uh, stay the same speed. We wanted it to be something fast-sounding. So we ended up finding this piece not too far from the beginning. Didn't take long for us to find something that we liked. So the original sample that we worked with sounded like this. And then we pitched it up an octave. So uh, you get the idea. So we drew the MIDI in. I'll play, I'll show you the... Uh... So uh, we kind of let that note bend around. And as you can see, the note doesn't uh, travel up right here, but the pitch does, and that's because we picked a sample that's not a straight note. This is such an awesome way to use melodies that already existed in your song to invent new ones because this note run here pitched up and became something completely new. And then we played it around to some MIDI, and again, as chops always need to be, nice and short, uh, people really forget this part. Chops need to be chopped. Having these full-length notes would not have given the same vibe. And then on the channel below it, the third and final vocal chopping method we did was actually just for layering for this sound because it sounded a little thin pitched up that high. So we found something that sounded uh, like a, maybe an octave down layer, and we did that with a straight note, uh, unlike what we did with the acapella where we found a note run. We found just a... Uh, 
let's play the sample. This is a whole loop sample from Raw Hits 1, the vocals folder. And took it, again, super crucial on the low cut. Always low cut your vocal chops. Uh, there's going to be a whole bunch of artifacts and digital gunk. Use auto-tune and instrument mode on your vocal chops, especially for this top one that I was showing you guys where we found a piece that bends around. This just locks it right in nice and tight. No worrying about the semitones and all that junk. Uh, Auto-tune is a lifesaver for more than just vocal production. Right on the lead in the drop. So there you have it. Three ways to chop up your vocals in Ableton. I hope you found this information useful. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you guys next time with another tutorial. Peace out.